Mathematics, art, architecture and music are traditionally taught as separate disciplines. However, did you know that they are intricately linked from great antiquity to modern times through a mathematical phenomenon? Mathematics, art, architecture and music are the application of human consciousness striving to express oneself through a physical or metaphysical reality. Aesthetically pleasing art, music and architecture are generally grounded in a mathematical phenomenon known as the golden ratio or divine proportion, sometimes referred to as sacred geometry. This golden ratio was defined initially by the ancient Greeks and was manifested in art and architecture and is still prominent today. We could even say that the golden ratio is the formula of beauty itself. The golden ratio is considered sacred due to its relationship with nature and the miraculous construction of the universe and the human body. We can observe this mathematical phenomenon in nature through plants, flowers and animals, the human body, the structure of genetic code, movement of the solar system's planets, and in the physics of high energy particles. Well-known works of beauty that adhere to this divine proportion and hence produce magnificent masterpieces include Khufu's Pyramid of Egypt, the Parthenon in Athens, the Mona Lisa, and even in the captivating music of Beethoven, Chopin and Mozart. Ancient Greek philosopher Plato, who lived during the 4th century BC, perceived that the universe itself abides by the law of harmonic division. Plato maintained that the goal of aesthetics is to peer deeply into nature, to employ the sacred proportions at work in her beautifully divine but simple order. Mathematically speaking, what exactly is this divine proportion known as the golden ratio, and how does it actually underlie aesthetically pleasing art, architecture and music? The golden ratio is an irrational number, equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2, or approximately 1.618 and is represented by the Greek symbol phi. Recent mathematical history of the golden ratio can be linked directly to the work of Leonardo Fibonacci, an Italian mathematician, and his discovery of the Fibonacci sequence. The sequence begins with a 0, 1, and adding the two preceding numbers to get consecutive numbers in the sequence, we have 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, and so on. When we place each of these numbers of the Fibonacci sequence over their previous number, we get closer and closer to the golden ratio itself, 1.618. So let's see how phi geometry works in terms of the logarithmic Fibonacci golden spiral. Writing down the Fibonacci code, we have 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. First, construct two 1x1 one one squares next to each other. Then, underneath a 2x2 two two square, to the left, a 3x3 three three square, then above, a 5x5 five five square, and finally, an 8x8 eight eight square to the right. This is known as the golden rectangle. Then, beginning in the first square, draw an arc like so, making sure to pass through each of the vertex of each square. And here we have the golden spiral, known as the Fibonacci logarithmic spiral, that underlies beauty in the world around us. The golden ratio manifests in the human body. The human body and all its parts, including the human face and even our teeth, are all based on the principle of the golden ratio. The three bones, for example, of each of your fingers are in a golden relationship. The wrist divides the hand and forearm into the golden ratio and the human head is embedded within a golden rectangle with eyes at its midpoint. The mouth and nose are placed at golden sections of the distance between the eyes and the bottom of the chin. We can also see the divine proportion at work in plant leaves, stems, flower heads and petals, animals, weather patterns and even in the structure of our DNA. The Parthenon created in ancient Greece is considered one of the greatest monuments of ancient Greek architecture. 
The main cause of the Parthenon's beauty is the exquisite harmony of its parts based on the golden ratio. On analysis of the proportion of the building reveals that the main facade fits into a single golden ratio. On analysis of the ground plan, this reveals two reciprocal golden rectangles and the interior chamber is also in golden proportion. The Mona Lisa, the well-known portrait of a woman with a coy smile and considered one of the greatest artistic masterpieces of all time, is embedded within golden rectangles. And through Vitruvian Man, Leonardo da Vinci shows the perfection of the human body in all divine proportion. Further works of artistic harmony and perfection can be seen in the masterpieces of The Last Supper, The Annunciation and many more. The structure of both rhythm and harmony is also based on the golden ratio. The most pleasing harmonic intervals are the octave, 2 to 1, the fifth, 3 to 5, and the major and minor 6, so 5 to 3 and 8 to 5. The piano itself consists of Fibonacci numbers with eight white keys and five black keys in a ratio of two to three. Russian musicologist Sabineev discovered in 1925 that the golden ratio appears in 97% of Beethoven's music, 97% of Haydn's music, almost 100% of Chopin's etudes, and 91% of Mozart's music. Looking outside to the macrocosm, the divine proportion also underlies our solar system and is often referred to as Aphrodite's golden kiss. Venus draws a beautiful five-fold rosette around us every eight years. Eight years on Earth is equivalent to 13 Venusian years. The Fibonacci numbers 13 to 8 to 5 here appear to connect time and space. The relative mean orbits of Earth and Mercury are close to phi squared to 1, which is the same ratio as the size of the planets themselves to each other. The two largest planets, Jupiter and Saturn, also produce a perfect golden proportion from Earth. The synodic measures of time and space relate 1 to phi with 99.99% accuracy. If we line up Earth, Jupiter and Saturn, one year and 12.85 days later, the Earth is exactly between Saturn and the Sun. 20.79 days later, the Earth is exactly between the Sun and Jupiter, corresponding to the golden ratio. Given all the expressions of human consciousness through architecture, art, and music to create masterpieces of beauty and perfection, it truly seems that the mathematical ratio of phi, this golden ratio, is the mathematical code that underlies aesthetically pleasing beauty in the world around us, even in the code of the planet's orbits, their sizes and motion in space and in time. Can we therefore say that there really is a secret mathematical code that underlies all creation of our magnificently beautiful universe and the expression of all human consciousness? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.